Hello, everyone. I am Dr. Sarah Wooten, and I'm so excited to be back here for another video with you on all things feline, right? So today on this video right now, I'm going to be talking about how our cats talk to us and what they are trying to say. Our cats have they have found that they have up to 21 different types of vocalizations. And then within these, those different types, there's, there's variants within each. So our cats have a lot to say, and they have a lot to say, not only with their bodies, right? Because a lot of non-human animal communication is nonverbal, but turns out they've got a lot to say to us with their mouths as well. So let's get into it. The first sound that I want to talk to you about today is the meow, the meow, 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 right? This meow. What is this thing and why are they doing it? So this is the most common type of sound associated with, with cats. And it has two syllables, right? The me and the ow, meow. And the second syllable is usually higher than the first and more resonant. Meow, meow, right? Cat meows are very unique for each cat. And they also change within the context of what the cat is trying to communicate. And in fact, cats rarely use meows to talk to other cats. If you go to a feral cat colony, uh, then it's very quiet. They, you don't hear meows. Cats typically only use meows uh, as, when they are kittens and they are using it to talk to their mother, to call for their mother, to talk to their mother, mother to ask for something. And they talk to us. They, yes, they are babies forever for us. It's great. But when they're usually meowing at us, it's because they want something as well. Attention, play usually food. So when your cat is meowing at you, they are usually anticipating that you're going to feed them or they want you to feed them. It's a dinner bell, basically, for us. And the meow, again, is highly variable based on context. And they can have happy meows and they can have not so happy meows. So the way to tell the difference now that you know that your cat wants something, now you can also tell whether your cat is happy or not so happy. So your happy meows uh, are shorter. Meow, meow, meow. They are higher pitched and they rise melodically at the end. Meow, meow. <laughs> Where the not so happy meows tend to be the opposite. They tend to be longer, meow, meow, right? And lower pitched. So your cat is giving you two pieces of information, what they want and how they feel. Pretty awesome. Thanks, cats. The second sound is called murmuring. Murmuring is generally a very friendly, happy, it's half trill, half purr. Sometimes it's got a meow in it and it sounds uh, something like this. Right? You've heard those, right? Uh, so these these murmurs often are in conjunction with the meow. Starts with a murmur, ends with a meow. These are some of the most common, friendly, happy sounds that cats will make. They will murmur for usually two reasons. One, to announce their presence. I have arrived, right? I walk into the room, I am here, pay attention to me. So that's one. So they wanna let you know that they're here. Or two, they want something from you, such as attention or play or food. And they will often use this murmur as a very polite way to ask. And if you don't give them what they ask for, they tend to switch to a more insistent demanding meow. So the third sound is something called a chirp. Chirps are short, very short. They're very high pitched sounds that also rise in tone near the end. They can either be a single sound, one chirp, or they can have a series of chirps in a row, in which case we call them chirrups. I don't know why. Cats will chirp when they are fixated on a prey. So the most common reason why you will see a, a cat chirping is they're sitting at a window and they're looking at a bird and then they just start talking. And we don't know entirely why, but we think it might be because they're mimicking the sounds of their prey. 
but chirps are also used by a mother cat to get their kittens to follow them. So when chirps are directed at you, it's likely that your cat wants you to follow them to something that they think is important, which is often their empty food bowl that they want you to fill. All right, the number four sound is called chatter. Uh, chatter. Uh. So cats make these chatter sounds when they see something they want to hunt, like that bird we were talking about or a rodent. This sound is created uh, when they click their jaws open and closed very quickly. The chatter sound itself is voiceless. It doesn't use the vocal folds, folds or what you call the voice box at all. So they can often combine this chatter, however, with other sounds, such as the chirping that they often use at the same time because they are looking at prey. While we don't, again, know entirely why cats do this, I wish cats would let us get inside their heads, right? Uh, one theory postulates that they see whatever it is they want to hunt, and then they get this burst of adrenaline that makes their teeth chatter. Another theory uh, is that they're chattering in anticipation of being able to hunt something, or they're separated by a glass window, and so they're chattering because they're frustrated because they can't get outside when they see the prey on the other side of the window. So that is the fourth sound, and it is called chatter, and it's uh, with the jaw. Okay, so we've gone over four pretty happy sounds that cats tend to make. We're going to talk about some not so happy sounds that cats tend to make when they are just not feeling very charitable. So the first one is called the growl. Growls, yes. Growls are low, long, guttural, and very harsh. Very different than what we've been talking about so far. So a growl goes for a long time and a cat growls by exhaling through their mouth that might be slightly open. It's usually slightly open. Sometimes it's closed. So a growl is usually directed at other cats to warn them not to come too close. However, growls can be used to warn humans or dogs or anything really to stay away. Growling is often combined with other sounds, uh, including howls, yowls, and hisses. Well, we'll go over all of those. So the next not so happy sound is a hiss, right? A hiss is a long exhalation that a cat makes when they see something that they don't like or that surprises them. So for example, I used to get hissed at a lot when I did vaccine injections on cats. And it's because they would be sitting there minding their own business and then they feel a poke somewhere that they don't know where it came from, then they hiss. So when they hiss, they can hiss at pretty much anything or anyone, another person, another cat. It could be a mirror. Cats lack self-awareness and they don't know that that cat in the mirror is just them. So they may hiss at that mirror because they think it's a cat and they want to warn this animal to back off or the claws are going to come out. So the hiss can also be called a voiceless reflex because they don't use their voice box to make the sound and they hiss involuntarily when they're surprised or they're, they're um, yeah, when they're surprised. So cats, when they hiss, they expose their teeth and they often puff up their fur to make themselves look really big and menacing. My recommendation is to not pick up or try to pet a cat that is hissing because it's probably not going to go well. In conjunction with the hiss is the next vocalization and it's called a spit. And I'm not going to impersonate it because I might leave spit all over my computer screen and I don't think I can actually do it but cats often hiss and spit at the same time. The spit is actually considered by some people to be an intense variant of hissing. And it's also a voiceless reflex that is used to warn other people or pets or shock them. So the spit usually comes with a hiss. It can come before the hiss. It can come after the hiss. And if you hear this sound, be forewarned that somebody or something might get scratched. 
After the spit, we have the yowl. The yowl is a very long, very loud, and very harsh, vo harsh vocalization that cats make. They open their mouth up wide uh, at the beginning of the yowl, and then they slowly close their mouth through the yowl. So yowling is used when cats are fighting. Uh, it can be used when a cat is just very, very, very angry and wants to get away from something. And it can also be heard when cats are mating. Nobody ever said that cat sex was fun. The last not so happy sound that you may hear cats making is something that we call the pain shriek. A pain shriek is exactly what it sounds like. It's very short. It's very intense. It's very high pitched and harsh and it's uttered through a very open, tense cat mouth. And it requires a very powerful exhale for the cat to make this sound. And true to its name, cats make this sound when they are in pain. It's also heard when you hear two cats that are fighting and cats that are undergoing restraint at a veterinary clinic. I have heard them make this sound as well. It's not very fun to hear and it makes my heart sad for these cats. This sound can also be heard at the end of mating, but if you hear this sound, there's something definitely going on with your cat and you need to check it out. The purr! All right. So the last sound I want to talk about is probably one that you're wondering why I haven't talked about it yet. And it's the purr. Yes, out of all the sounds that cats make, the purr has been studied the most. Cats start purring when they are very tiny kittens. Uh, one theory as to why kittens purr is that it is a very quiet, very quiet vocalization that kittens can use to talk to their mom without attracting any predators. So cats make the purr sound by breathing in and breathing out and vibrating their vocal folds. And purring can be combined with any other vocalizations. While we know that cats purr when they're happy and they're friendly and they're contented, not all purring cats are happy when they purr. Uh, so cats can also purr when they are stressed, in pain, or close to death. I have seen cats that are at death's door and they are still purring up a motorboat. Uh, again, we don't know entirely why they do this a couple of theories is that the purr itself is a healing frequency. They have studied it. It's a therapeutic range. And so they may be purring to try and heal themselves or make themselves feel better. Or it could be that they are just signaling to us, I am not a threat. So when it comes to a purr, context is everything when trying to, to determine what your cat is communicating. So there you have it, 10 different types of vocalizations that cats make that have very clear and distinct messages. Again, some of them you have to put them in context and see what else the cat is doing at the same time, but our cats are always talking to us. It's up to us to listen. So that is all I have on this topic. If this has been helpful or if you've noticed anything or you want to share something about your cat making these sounds, leave me a comment in the comment section. Also, if you would like me to cover a different topic, leave that comment for me as well. I'm trying to come back every week and give you guys some new knowledge. So thank you so much for watching. I am Dr. Sarah Wooten, and I will be back soon with another video.